Someone reads a book or two on palm reading and they think they're going to change your life. Someone watches a couple compelling documentaries and all of a sudden they're an expert on the federal banking system. Then on top of that, these algorithms are designed to feed us whatever we're compelled towards. So now you're seeing conspiracy videos that scratch that same itch. It's probably a good time to go over the Dunning-Kruger effect, I guess. This is another one that's just too easy and natural for us to fall into. One good way to sum up the Dunning-Kruger effect is that it's basically when you're too sure to see. In the late 90s, the psychologists David Dunning and Justin Kruger tested the logical reasoning and grammar skills of a bunch of Cornell students, and they gave them questionnaires after the test, just asking them how confident they were and asking them to rank themselves compared to the other people and all that. And the ones that got the lowest test scores rated themselves at the top. The people who scored the highest actually underestimated themselves. And this is a pattern we experience as we go through the learning curve. Sometimes when you first start learning something, you immerse yourself in it and you get such a broad and vague understanding of it that you kind of feel like you fully understand it. So the level of knowledge is low, but the level of confidence is high. Then if you actually keep learning and studying and apply yourself, you realize there's a lot more to it that you still don't know. And you might even realize the things you thought you knew weren't quite right either. But you only realize this from learning more. So then the level of knowledge is higher, but the level of confidence is lower. Then of course, if you really try to master something, you keep growing through these cycles and eventually you can reach a reasonable level of knowledge and confidence that can be justified. But it's always important to stay humble and willing to learn. This is one of the best traits that separates the scientific method from dogmatic or supernatural claims. If you insert an imaginary answer that doesn't pass any test, then you can be blinded by that explanation. If you ask questions, test, observe, analyze, follow the evidence, and repeat that process, you'll keep uncovering truths beyond your wildest imagination. If you think you have the answer, it could cut you short. Instead of just filling the gaps with that imagination, you know, the Dunning-Kruger effect is only dangerous when you're not aware of it and you get stuck at that first level of minimal understanding with unreasonable confidence. When you're trapped in that echo chamber and it creates that feedback loop of confirmation bias and placebo comfort or dopamine stimulation, it's pretty much like when people think they know but they don't know enough to know that they don't know much. Then other people actually do know, but they know enough to know that there's a lot that they still don't know. 